I think I play my best when I'm pissed off and when I'm angry. I was pissed to not start because I thought I had a good preseason and um, all the games leading up to that I thought I was performing well and then I wasn't on a team sheet. Having that mentality coming in and being like, I don't care what anybody says or what anybody thinks of me, I'm going to go in and change the game. Really just coming on like I think we needed to get a win to start the season off right because those three points, those first three points are very important to any season. Fletcher. It's a myriad of youngsters on this left hand side for DC. Di Pietro again. Looking to stand one up. It's been Teke! There's your late equalizer from the home side. And with potentially eight minutes of stoppage time, who knows what else this has? Nahar. Driving forward with real purpose. Fletcher trying to help it along for Jahaz, who gets his cross away. It's Kudi Di Pietro! DC avoided! The biggest thing like for me is like an awestruck moment is when I'm driving by the stadium right before the game is about to go on and uh, I'm like I used to come to these games and I was like I'm, I mean fanboying a little bit but you know like uh, or never even think I would reach that level. I mean, it feels great, obviously, to be selected for that list, but uh, I think the most important thing is to give recognition to everybody behind me, my teammates, uh, the coaching staff, my family, my friends, uh, my girlfriend especially, and just help me get to this point because, I mean, during my whole career, like, especially at the beginning, nobody really thought like I would do anything, especially just going into Loudoun on a, under a Loudoun contract, so to get to this point is really amazing for me. Individual accolades don't really matter too much to me. I mean, obviously, it's still an honor, but as long as the team is doing well and we're striving for playoffs and going for playoffs and eventually an MLS Cup, that's the most important thing. So your family and your friends had a pretty specific favorite moment of the season. Yeah. What's been your favorite moment of the season? To come back from injury and then finally like bounce back in an even better way than I imagined, that was probably the best thing for me to because I was dealing with the injury and then I came back and you know your confidence is kind of low coming back because you haven't touched the ball in months and then uh, good things just started to happen because I was doing the right thing so. Goody Pietro has rifled that past Andre Blake. Goody Di Pietro into the net. Oh damn Goody Pietro. Oh, oh there's a bit of a giveaway, a huge giveaway. Benteke and Tapman and a huge gap inside the area. Goody Pietro edge of the box. Uses the outside of the foot. Click! Finds the side netting and Click has tied the game at two. Goody Pietro puts it into a dangerous area. You were out for a while. How did you get through that mentally and physically to come back, like you said, even better than you thought you would? Like really just missing it so much. Like I missed it so much while I was gone and then I was like I don't want to be out again or I don't want to be sitting on the bench again so that was really the biggest motivating factor for me. What is it like being a fan favorite and getting that support? I mean it obviously feels amazing but uh, I, I, don't, I don't know why honestly I'm just sometimes I'm quiet sometimes I'm really rowdy and crazy but uh, I don't know I kind of just came out of nowhere and I love it and I really appreciate it and I always love our fans and uh, especially them showing up to games like last year when we were at the bottom of the table and at the Cincy game, I remember I was starting and it was pretty much a sellout crowd even though we're at the bottom of the table and I think that doesn't happen a lot in other cities so it is pretty special to have it.